push timing on the left, release timing on the right, visual cue, the forward flick of the wrist. Take a look at this right now. The forward flick of the wrist, we already met our green window on push timing. On release timing, it's not even met its green window. We've been using release timing the whole year, and I've noticed this felt slower than very late last year. I switched to very late last year at the end of the year. This year, I've used nothing but release timing, and once again, you see the visual cue the forward flick of the wrist now i know there are slightly different shooting locations but it shouldn't make a difference because this year your jump shot is going to change on every little direction that you take any and everything can change your jump shot timing in this game that's why you look for your visual cue and if you're somebody that used very late at any point last year for a decent amount of time you would know that very late shot timing was literally the flick of the wrist now this year i've been using release timing since day one i got a chance to test out jump set point and even push and i stuck with release because to me it made the most sense that that would be very late and i was looking at the flick of the wrist cue but i noticed that a lot of times post patch my shot was inconsistent now ever since i've switched to push timing i am literally shooting like pre-patch i'm telling you push timing is like the better version of very late a slightly faster version because this year the jump shots are slightly faster than last year now yesterday we hit 196,000 subscribers shout out to the gbo family man we're so close to that 200k hit that like button so right now we are on push timing. Let me show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. We're on push timing right now. I think that if you use very late shot timing last year, you need to go ahead and switch to push timing now. And I was shooting really good at release timing this year, but it would push timing. It's not even fair anymore, even with all these updates. All right, so what we're going to do, we have it on push timing. This is going to be a better comparison because we're going to have it to the side instead of over the literal visual cue. So let me show you guys it in Hall of Fame difficulty. We're going to do push timing and we're going to look at the flick of the wrist. This is like very late last year. I used very early the whole year until the end of the year. I got convinced when I was in the comp stage every single day, real comp stage. We're like, yo, you got to go to late timing or very late. The flick of the wrist for very late. All right. I went to very late and wonders happen. Now I'm on push time. I haven't been to the stage this year, but we will be in that stage soon. I'm going to look at the flick of the wrist. As soon as he flicks the wrist forward, that's what I'm going to look for. All right. Check this out now. Flick the wrist forward. Boom. Green. Now let's go to release timing. Let's go to release timing. It's Hall of Fame difficulty. All right. Let's go to release timing and let's look at that same. Let's do the same visual cue. All right. Scoot up a little bit. Same visual cue. We're looking for the forward flick of the wrist. Ready? Look at the difference. We're going to go side by side. Side by side. All right. One more time, we're looking at the flick of the wrist forward. Now watch when we go to uh, push timing. Push timing, all right? Flick of the wrist forward. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is very late from last year, bro. This is literally very late from last year. Literally. Kid you not. Now turn the meter off. Turn the meter off. Now watch this. Look for the flick of the wrist. Look for the flick of the wrist. That's it. Now what you saw in the intro was just a little snippet, like literally the first two games using push timing. The build, the 6-4 build was literally a fresh rebirth. This is the build with a few more badges. Now, regardless of what shot timing you use in this game, you're going to miss shots. There's going to be shots that you miss because 2K closed your green window. And for those people that are watching the video still, I got a couple gems that I'm going to drop for you. All right, first hit that like button, man. Helps the channel out tremendously. And subscribe if you've been watching my videos, man, my channel. Help, you know, hit that subscribe button, man. Join the GVO family. No, you're going to miss some shots. Like right here, I felt like that was green. I looked at my, my wrist and guess what? Right here again, I looked at my wrist. It didn't drop. Here's a gem for you guys. If you have a game where you feel like I'm looking at my cue and it's not dropping, do what I'm about to show you right now. All you're going to have to do 
is if you feel like you started out game bad and you feel like they're, you're, you're in a slump or 2K is forcefully making you miss shots, even though you know your jump shot cue, zoom in one or two times on your camera. I, it, it's not a superstition. Trust me, it works. All right, I'm not gonna miss a, a shot for the rest of this game. It works. And on the two score, if you're on the two score and you play on default camera for 2K, regular 2K, zoom in twice. All right, go to seven. And that's what I do. And trust me, I don't know what it is, but for some reason, every single time I do that, I can dribble better now. I can shoot from anywhere. I can, I can fade. You see me L2 canceling, dribbling perfectly. And guess what? I can fade without takeover. Literally, I didn't have no takeover right there. You see me using that poor man's Trey Young fade? Because <laughs> I'm not a starter three. Now, this is the most I've played um, in any season since 2K22 when it legend. I'm already almost at, uh, I think, like 200 games played already. And we're pretty much not, we got like 20 something days left in the season. The first season of this game, I only had 200 games played. So I'm on pace. I'm trying to get that started toward the way. Now, another gem I'm about to drop for you guys and hit that like button, all right? I found release 62 from 2K20. And if you don't know what release 62 is, release 62 is pure 98 default release. If you just bought 98 from the store, guess what? Release 62 was pure 98 release. I found that release and it is what I'm using in this gameplay. Now with the Kakashi jacket on, cause you know, this is Kakashi. Send it. Kakashi video coming soon. All right. You know, every year I do the Kakashi video. Kakashi video coming soon. This was a brand new custom I used with it. The one in the, the intro where you saw with the red shorts, I was using a different custom release one with the release 62 from 2K20. Now with this one, I put on Oscar Robinson on release one because it, it made it way faster because I noticed I was getting contested with the upper release one that I had on with the release 62 as the secondary. Now with that release 62, I'm telling you right now, that thing is pure, pure, pure for the fades, pure for the standstill jump shots and if you don't believe me wait till you see the gameplay that's literally coming up right after you see these few clips because i'm telling you in this same video right now you're going to see the power of this release 62. i'm so glad that i took the time to really just look at the releases because i know every jump shot base in this game i know what set shot 25 is for the big bills there's two versions of it i know all the multiple versions of scotty pippen base i even know poor man's tracy mcgrady base any base you name david Roddy. any base you name on this game, I've used and tested already. Base 98, guess what? That's Patrick Mills and Dwayne Wade base. Session 25, I'll just go ahead and drop that knowledge for you right now. Bilal Colaby Send it. and Isaac Banga. Big builds, that's the only ones that can get it, right? There's so many things in this game. If you want Kuzma base, you're looking at Nazir Little base. If you want Kuzma base from last year, Ben Shepard is LaMelo Ball from last year or JT Thor, you choose, right? But Ben Shepard is faster, so it's LaMelo Ball from last year. I'm telling you, there's so much gems in this game. And I've been using release timing with every single one of them, the whole entire 2K24 life cycle, which is not much to say because the game just came out literally two months ago, right? But using release shot timing, I was under the impression that, you know what, since I started using very late timing at the end of the year last year, very late timing is the flick of the wrist. All right. And I used to look at the forward flick of the wrist in 2K23. No, late time in last year to me felt like the flick of the forearm. When the forearm went forward, that's when you release it. But this year, if you really look at the, the visual cue with any build, any jump shot out there, go to the 2KU freestyle and test it out for yourself. When the wrist flicks forward, even on the fades, you see right there, release it. That was what I was doing with release timing. And for some reason, after the patch, I see I'm literally sparking everything, fades, everything. After the patch, release timing feels so different, so weird. It's so inconsistent. It's not no longer the flick of the wrist for me. Because y'all know pre-patch, I was shooting about 62% from three on my small guard builds, right? Each one of them was shooting like 62% from three, and I was fading almost every Same. shot. This is post-patch, as you clearly see, all right? This is brand new gameplay, brand new 6-4 build, post patch. Now with, re with le release timing, I can't shoot like how you see me shooting right now. But this is with push timing. Brand new controller, add a new controller to the collectible items. I bought one for the birthday, the new one that just come out of Nacon Revolution 5, the Pro Controller. I'm gonna make a tech review video on that one. 
my favorite controller no it's amazing bro now that controller has nothing to do with how i'm shooting push timing is the forward flick of the wrist and once you have that knowledge that it's it's the forward flick of the wrist and very late is literally when the wrist is bending all the way down release timing is when the wrist is bending all the way down you'll want to use push timing after that anyways hit that like button for the 62 release big up to big up to my